did there. Thank you, Brandon. For sure thing. I like that. Good pun. All right, let's see these big boys throw down. There it is. Oh. Oh, he might have got a little too confident there. I was hoping, I was wondering if he's going to slam him. That's a big guy to slam. Holy. I can't even move like that. You know, I, even Lionel oh, thought. big shots by Lionel Woods. Go ahead, Chris. It even looked like he was wondering if he was going to take him for a slam or not. <laughs> Lionel Woods, man. It does not look like this is a guy who's taken about 10 years off. He's still 33 shots. years old. They are throwing heavy leather. I'm impressed. I mean, that's prime age in MMA, that 33 to 35. He's fighting a young buck, too. Yeah. Ooh. He's doing a good job of that lead hook. But really good straight right hands from Jackson. Yeah. He seems a lot oh, more cleaner. The right hand put him on wheels. A little equilibrium shot, it looked like. Big shots by Lionel Woods. I'm loving this. He's reaching a little bit, though. There's the takedown by Jackson Ross. He's got a big wrestling background. I want to see him versus Rusty Rosenberg. <laughs> but yeah, good, good job from, from Ross there to kind of switch up the game plan a little bit. Yeah. The striking wasn't working out. Took him to the ground. He had some decent right hands, but, you know, you had a, a guy that seems to have more size on you, walking you down, throwing big punches at heavyweight. If any one of those lands, it's over. So it's good to, to put him in a position where he can't knock you out. I'll admit, though, that Kimura trip or Kimura sweep that he did, that was really cool. I like that. That was cool. That's high level from a heavyweight. He's got some finesse for sure, but we're not really seeing a lot off of his back right now. Just both guys kind of fighting for a position, really. You see, Jackson went to put his hand over his mouth to stop Lionel from breathing. Oh, that's a pretty tight arm triangle. If he can clear his leg, find his neck, and it's over. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chip Slater calls the stop to the action at two minutes and 21 seconds of the first round. Declaring the winner by arm triangle choke submission, Jack Rose. So awkward.